The Calamianes group of islands in northern Palawan is a world on its own. This island chain boasts of splendid seascapes and spectacular sceneries. But one stands out, shaped like a sleeping giant. The island is made of 260 million year old limestones with a unique karst topography and crystal clear lagoons. Throughout centuries, this pristine island has been home to one of the predominant indigenous peoples of Palawan. Mayroon siyang sukat na 24,520 hectares, kasama po yung dagat. Here, nature has proven its worth amid the effects of climate change. In November 2013, the whole northern region of Palawan was among the areas struck by Typhoon Haiyan. Despite the rampage of a typhoon, Coron's Makinit Hot Spring was spared because of sturdy mangroves that protect the area against storm surges. Coron is also famous for its magnificent coral reef system and numerous dive-worthy shipwrecks. However, this image of paradise masks the underlying risks. Possible na maisip na maging threat dyan yung, yung carrying capacity niyan. Kasi tikita naman natin walang tigil ang mga tao. Hanik, panao, paliligo doon sa ano. Pero parang wala pang study ng carrying capacity na dapat sa isang araw at, at a certain period of time, ganito lang ang maliligo, ganito lang ang akit dyan. Uh, alam po ninyo itong bayan namin, biglang sumikat uh, with our present internal revenue allotment which is only about 100 uh, million plus. Malaking kakulangan po yan para po sa uh, patuloy na pamamalagi ng kalinisan po rito sa aming bayan. The lack of proper sewerage in 4,500 households along coastal areas and the looming solid waste management crisis in the town of Coron are slowly contaminating the waters of Coron Bay. So I have been talking with the DNR. So yung aming ginawa ay we need to close our, uh, our, our present dump site. And through the help of the provincial government, I uh, naghanap po kami ng isang area para kami ay makapagpagawa ng sanitary landfill. On the other side of Calamianes, an estimated 3,700 hectare low-lying island north of Busuanga is habitat for African wildlife and Philippine endemic species. This is the Kalawit Game Reserve and Wildlife Safari. So we have here the giraffe zebras from Africa. Uh, these animals arrive from Kenya, 1977, March 4. And uh, now, they, uh, they were 25 heads, and the zebras, we have 34 heads. And we have also a Calamian deer in the island. It's count about 500 heads. The Kalawit Game Reserve and Sanctuary is the first successful wildlife translocation experiment in Asia, becoming a major conservation showcase for the Philippines. Within the last three decades, the number of endemic species in the island has increased significantly. The Palawan peacock, bearcat, scaly anteater, porcupine, and the indigenous Calamian deer have successfully coexisted with the African wildlife. However, the Tagbanwas who once inhabited the land were relocated to Culion Island. They were negotiated by the Philippine government um, to, to, for, the, for the Philippine government to use this island. And they were resettled at Culion, which it's, they call it uh, Halsey and Burabud resettlement site. Actually, nung no, nakita ko actually yung area is not it's not for a human kwan talaga eh, kasi batuhan siya, wala siyang agriculture na pwede matamnan. So, doon nagumpisa yung hirap ng mga katutubo. Ang mga anak ko po, hindi ko na napa-high school doon hanggang elementary na rin. Kaya yun, ang hirap po doon, hindi namin mapantayan. Kaysa dito kami, nung kami hindi kinuha, hindi po namin nakikita dito yung presyo na mga bilihin. Lalong-lalo na po yung bigas. Dahil yung mga basa ka namin dito, nakakasuporta po sa pagkain namin sa loob ng isang taon bago dumating yung anihan 
may kunti pa pong naiiwan. Kung ano po ang ginawa ni Kuri, napagyarian po ng maming mga kapatid yan, banda sa Burabud, sinama kami. Kung gusto namin daw mag People's Power din, babalik kami sa Kalawit. Baka sakaling ang Kalawit ay maging amin. Yun po ang nangyari. In 1997, the state finally recognized the rights of possession and ownership of indigenous peoples over their ancestral domains identified and delineated in accordance with Republic Act 8371 or the Indigenous Peoples' Rights Act. Nang ma, ma, ma inak na yung law of 8371, nagkaroon po ng lakas ang mga tutubo. Ito na yung Balik Kalawid Movement na grupo na which is 42 families. No? At bumalik sila, sinubukan nila bumalik, pero ang laki ng struggle. Uh, so, ngayon po, nakakapagtanim na kami. Hindi na kami ganong hinigpitan. Saka malaya na rin kami nakakahanap buhay dito. In the tug of war between animals and humans, is there another way for wildlife and human settlements to coexist? For now, the Calamianes group of islands is home to both wildlife and humans. Through continuous dialogue, cooperation among stakeholders and the effective management of the protected area, we hope to address the challenges of an environment where humans and wild animals need to coexist. Mm -hmm.